Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are looking into another memory drawing question, which is one point perspective again with the help of a question that is: Imagine you are flying in a aeroplane seated on a window seat. Draw the scene with pencil only. So here is the final drawing. This is what we are going to learn today. The steps remain the same. Draw a horizontal line. Mark a vanishing point. But this time, the vanishing point is not at the center. Drawing vanishing line. So in this case, there is a object that is the seat right in front of you, uh, right in your vanishing point. Once you figure out the seats, just draw vanishing lines from the vanishing point to all the edges, and then draw the cabins at the top. Then the light surfaces on the ceiling, also the floor. So, like they have mentioned, at a window seat, that is a highlight of your question. So, give major focus on that part of the question and give enough room for that part. The picture will not look complete without the details that is the thickness the edges of the window the front seat uh, front seat storage or the seat detailings have to be shown the floor detailings the cabin detailings these things will make your picture look more real drawing the ac and the light controls at the top detailing out the seatings uh, the uh, you in the question it is mentioned that you are seated you have to show your reference that is a hand or a mug in any memory drawing question don't leave anything single lined everything has thickness and you need to show double line to it only then there will be depth in the picture Drawing the ceiling lights, uh, lights and shading the flooring and the ceiling with lines that is going to help you save your time and the image won't look shabby. 
let the image be be clean as possible draw a shade shade with lines use edge pencil for the lighter drawings that is the vanishing lines at the stage one of the drawing but for shading use any pencil lower to to be once the image is complete you can start shading the picture if you keep shading in between your hand will touch the paper again and again and it will rub off all the lines and make it shabby so shade and shadow at the end of the picture that will be your last step here i'm using the line shading technique which is easy and faster casting shadow of every object will help it make look more realistic don't forget to do that or your picture won't come out so this is the final drawing i hope this helped you if it did please like share and subscribe thank you bye